Hi ho peeps, I'm just Leo and welcome to a very different video. Today is a tutorial. Who would have guessed? Today I will be showing you how I, just me, make my thumbnails. <coughs> Let me give tutorials a try. I have always kind of wanted to do like a tutorial somewhat, somehow. Um, though I always felt like my first one was going to be an animation tutorial because that's just what I know how to do. I don't know if you guys want to see more tutorials from me or like see a specific tutorial from me let me know uh, maybe I'll try it <laughs> anyways to get started we're gonna need a program so okay I use clip studio paint um, you do not have to use this just letting you know that now uh, you can pretty much make a thumbnail and any art program that you want there's free ones there's paid ones clip studio is not a free software uh though there's you can do a free trial um i'll leave a link in the description to that um but if you want to see me tackle some other softwares um mainly free ones um just let me know i'll probably do it then so, in most cases, if not all, your art program will have a taskbar up here. So you just go to File and hit New, and then here you get to choose your canvas size. Um, as far as I know, YouTube thumbnails are 1280 by 720 resolution. I believe 1920 by 1080 is also a resolution you can choose, but I don't know when the last time I checked, but the last time I used a 1920 by 1080 thumbnail, it didn't work for me. So I've always just kind of used 1280 by 720. This resolution thing here, the DPI, does not matter. You can just leave it. All this other stuff is irrelevant. Just let, just letting you know width and height, important. And then we're just gonna click OK. You can name your file beforehand if you want but I'm just gonna leave it blank so here's our canvas the thumbnail I'm gonna be making today is uh, going to be a Five Nights at Freddy's thumbnail because I have just uploaded my Five Nights at Freddy's gameplay that I did with my pal Lou it doesn't have a thumbnail yet because I felt like this would be the perfect opportunity to make a video on how I do it so first of all usually when I'm doing gaming video thumbnails I like to strip some assets um, some screenshots from either the video itself or just from the internet so you're just gonna come to the internet and trying to find some assets that you want to use for the thumbnail I'm going to first search up an, an asset that I can use all right so I think I'm going to go with this one here. So what you're going to do is save this image. Save it somehow. And then when we go back to Clip Studio here, um, we're going to just open it. And I couldn't save it normally. So I just snipped it, like screenshotted it, and then hit paste. And then it just paste it here and then you can just move it around with this um, move tool so yeah there's that just gonna position it how I want it then I'm gonna go back to the interwebs look for a logo now you usually want to go for something that has a transparent background and usually when you can tell something's transparent is if you see this light little checkered pattern but sometimes you gotta be careful because sometimes Google Google you can't trust Google sometimes all right and that's pretty much it for gathering assets but depending on your thumbnail and depending on what you're trying to make you might have to download more so we opened up the file into clip studio if you want to know how to do that just go to file and click open and then you can just search around your file Explorer. So we're going to copy this because it's a different canvas. Place it in here. Now you can't really see it, 
but something I like to do is press this little button here which keeps the color inside of the lines change the color to white up here and then click this fill bucket tool up here and then it changes that and then I just basically resize it but I also want to leave space for the main part of my thumbnails later so I'll just put it down here now I kind of what I like to do sometimes is ha make um, the text of the game glow so it can just kind of be like you know eye eye gazing usually how I do this is by going over to the layer where the logo is I would duplicate the layer bring it bring the second one on the bottom like so go up here go to blur hit Gaussian blur and then I just turn up this knob to a value I really I'm comfortable with all right and then the main part of my thumbnails is that I like to draw on the thumbnail itself so how I'm gonna do this is that usually I can't really see <laughs> I can't really see with all this black in the way so I set the transparency down with this just so I can see the the back color of what I'm doing I'll just lock these layers as well so that they can't be like drawn on or messed with and then I'm going to just quickly draw something It's pretty much the thumbnail too um, but now seeing where the picture is and <laughs> how silly it looks um, I'm now thinking of putting the logo up here maybe make it a little smaller maybe tilt it a little and there you go that's how you make a thumbnail like me and obviously you will save it press save or save as so depending on the program you use you always want to make sure that it's not you're not saving it as the type of program it is you want to save it as a PNG you always want to save it as a PNG because that is the highest quality Im image format you're gonna get and then just gonna name it Gonna name it thumbnail 80 and there you go and now if we just switch over to YouTube so here's all the video details um, right here down here this is where you're gonna put your thumbnail get the thumbnail you have and then always hit save and now it's set and there you have it now I'm going to set this to public so people can actually watch it and that's it that's how you make 
a thumbnail Leo style. I hope that I was able to get enough information out as to how I do it. Um, obviously there will be a lot more steps depending on the kind of thumbnail you want to make. Like if you want to fit so much in there. Um, but overall, a thumbnail should be simple and should be eye catching. So if you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. If you want to see more thumbnail tutorials or just t tutorials in general, let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe. I'm just Leo. I'll see you guys online. Peace out.